Alright, what's going on guys? Steve here from the checkpoint alongside my robotic companion Guido and we are back here in the baby hands dimension and we've managed to find a spare second today away from the might of Thanos who we summoned in one of the previous adventures to do a brand new ritual that I've just thought up of in my noggin, okay? Right up here, right in my cranium where all the magic happens, I've just come up with this ritual so we're gonna do it today and it's gonna be awesome. Hopefully. Hopefully no demonic presence comes to murderers like in the previous adventures. Uh, how you doing today, Guida? Oh yeah, man, I can tell you're really excited for this ritual. I am as well, so uh, let's go ahead and get cracking. Of course, before we begin the ritual, I have to say thank you to all the adventurers who completed the quest of leaving a comment on the video where they first found my channel in the previous adventure. It was really interesting to see where all you guys came from. Full list of the names will be scrolling down here on the left and uh, just as it finishes here we will be talking about the new quest today which is going to be quite an interesting one I think. Alright so today's quest is pretty simple but interesting. All you've got to do is make a friend. Go to the comment section, reply to some comments or start your own comment chain, ask a question, leave an interesting fact about yourself. Just get to know someone else in the comment section down below. I really want to build this community further and the only way I can do that is by having you guys interact. You see, a cohesive unit. I can I can do this with my fingers to show the cohesion of this community. So uh, go ahead and do that and of course the people that completed the quest successfully will receive a shout out in the next episode of Checkpoint. So make sure you go ahead and do that. And yeah, let's get going with today's adventure. Alright, sir, my idea, the one that came to me in a dream, okay, is to summon Baldi, okay, from Baldi's Basics. Now you may be wondering where I got this idea from. Well, as we all know, Baldi is a maths teacher and in this room there are a bunch of math projects and items such as, well the main ones are up here, if we go up here we have uh, the calculator, we have uh, notebooks as you can see here, there's a math notebook specifically right there, uh, magnifying glass can be used in maths, I'm sure some sort of computer can be used in maths, there's a bunch of mathematic related stuff around here which will make it really interesting to see if we can actually summon Baldi with it. So as most rituals start, we're gonna go ahead and run on over, in fact I'm gonna moonwalk, I'm gonna moonwalk just because I'm feeling funky today, we're gonna moonwalk all the way over, plus it's a little bit faster I believe, over to this room where we can find, whoa, that guy just got flung from somewhere, did I moonwalk into him or did some sort of demonic presence throw him? I'm not sure, we've got to keep an eye on that, but uh, as all rituals mainly start, oh look at that, there's a new, there's a new toy? Whoa, there's a new toy truck. I didn't know about that. Wow, okay. Um, as all on most rituals start, we start off by carrying the appropriate color. Okay, I didn't mean to do that. The appropriate colors which signify Baldi. So in this, I want to grab the green. I'm clearly grabbing the green. So green, uh, maybe a bit of yellow in there. What else is a Baldi color? Maybe the red as well. And we're going to use these crayons. No, well, I would if I couldn't stop eating. No! Right, one more time. There we go. <laughs> We're going to use these specific colours to make our Baldy ritual, okay? So, Baldy. He's bald, he's scary, he's got big eyes, he's got exceptional hearing. Um, ugh. Okay, look, I'm just going to bring these crayons over for now. I just don't want to eat them and I don't want to draw everywhere. In fact, I should probably moonwalk with them. That way I don't draw all over the floor. Because Mama Steve would not be very happy about that. So you may be wondering why I'm taking a break from fighting Thanos right now. Well... We've actually managed to find a tiny little pocket dimension here in the baby hands dimension which allows us to have free reign of, uh, well, doing whatever we please when we're not fighting with the Avengers or fighting against Thanos. So that's, uh, that's great. We can take time to experiment with these sort of things and uh, we'll have no fear of being, of being snapped out of existence by, by Thanos like what happened in one of the previous adventures. Now of course, he's already snapped his fingers and half of the uh, universe has been wiped out, but that's fine. That's fine, as long as we can summon Baldi, it'll, it'll all be worth it, I'm sure. About half of, of billions of billions of lives for one bald guy, I think that's worth it. Alright, yes, I'm really excited about getting into this. Sir, so, the Baldi ritual is actually a little bit different to the other rituals. Instead of being on a pentagram or some sort of triangular starship, we actually do it circular because Baldi is, is bald. It signifies his bald head. So uh, let's go ahead and start drawing. So half of the circle is going to be in red, okay? That's half of the circle done, which is going to be in red. And uh, the other half will be in yellow, okay? And the main portion... Oh, wow, I've already started a bit there. The main portion of the ritual 
will actually be in green, all the stuff in the centre. So, here's the first part. Kind of looks like a, some sort of advertisement for McDonald's, you know, with the red and yellow there. But now we can put those colours to the side and get to work on the green. So, in the centre, we'll be having our main ritual item, as we do with every uh, episode of Baby Hands. We're also going to have some, uh, some energy transferring lines going off to the edges of the ritual. Always good. It kind of looks like a Pokeball right now. This is not a paid advertisement for Nintendo, okay? And now, what we've got is something that looks like the Google Chrome logo, okay? Uh, in the center here, let's call this in so it all makes sense. Let's call this in. This is going to be where our main ritual item goes, and that's going to power the entirety of this ritual. We also are going to have a subset of... Oh, no. Oh, no, that's not good. Can I rub that out? No. We're also going to have a subset of items here. So we're going to do some squares off each of the stems here. Oh, I didn't mean to. It, it doesn't have to be perfect, you know. Baldi's not a strict teacher, so it's fine. So we're going to have some squares for the rest of our items as well. Just like this. And of course, we're going to have to try fit in the seven notebooks for this as well, because Baldi is always summoned and he's always made angrier by collecting the seven notebooks. Okay, so the main ritual item that I want to find right now is the calculator. Of course, we saw that earlier, so let's, uh, let's moonwalk. Let's moonwalk into this room, okay? We're going to grab the calculator first of all, and we're also going to have to grab other assorted maths-related things. So, I noticed there was one notebook up here. Um, but this, uh, where's the calculator? There it is. Give me that. So we've got the calculator here. I don't want to, I don't want to do this game of, of whatever it is on here. I think it's asteroids or, or snake or something. I think it's snake, actually. Let's try a win. Let's try a win for Baldy. Uh, oh, oh, uh, it's very tough. God, it's super tough. My hands are shaking. Okay, oh, uh, there we go. Oh, we're getting somewhere. Oh, we're getting somewhere. Look at uh, It's not really a snake right now. It's like a little worm. God, this is super tough to do, though. Oh man, okay, let's just forget about that. Right, okay, let's bring this over. We're gonna moonwalk over, because uh, as we know, it's faster. So we, this will be, oh, I didn't mean to do that. This will be our centerpiece item for this ritual. It's very important that in every ritual you have a centerpiece item, as that powers the whole thing. Uh, so let's pop this right here. There we go. And now we also need uh, the seven notebooks. So I did notice, of course we have the math book through there, but uh, I've, got, I've got a different plan for that later on. I did notice there were a bunch of books over here. Now these could work as notebooks. Obviously the books, and I'm sure they've got notes in them, so it's fine. Okay, so let's grab some specific ones. We need seven, so there's four already. I think there's, yeah, there's exactly seven on this bottom shelf. I think, yeah. So that was five, six, seven. Yeah, that's weird, isn't it? It must, that means, that must mean it's right. That must mean it's right. Now, of course, this is a bit, uh, there's a bit, <laughs> there's quite a few here, so we're going to have to, Push them. Oh god, it's gonna be tough to do this. I'll tell you what, let's just leave a pile there and we'll we'll grab one and come back each time. I'll speed this up for you guys so you don't have to witness all of this. Alright, so this may look a bit messy right now, but bear with me, okay? So we've got the four notebooks on the side here, and we have one, two, three notebooks on top carrying the uh the sweet, sweet calculator. So now what we need to do is find somewhere to transfer the energy between all of these and get it all flowing together. So I think the main way we established to do that is by getting the uh, screwdriver, heading over to the nearest power source, which would be this power socket right here, frying it, there we go, love that, grabbing this, turning it around, now it's all electrified, and we'll kind of zap this, okay, Let's zap the heck out of the, yep, yep, there we go, alright, done, so now the ritual is set up, we should be good to go, and uh, now we are ready to summon Baldy. This has been a pretty short adventure, but we got the ritual done a lot faster than I thought. So let's go ahead and summon Baldy. <clears throat> I imagine we have to do some sort of uh, demonic incantation here, some sort of chant. Baldy! Baldy! Alright, that's not working. It's kind of like a football chant, what I did, uh, football chant, what I did there. Maybe we need to put the glasses on and look at it from, a, from another uh, perspective here. Uh, as we know, these glasses kind of have the ability to... I don't want the gun. I'm not going to shoot Baldy. I'm going to be nice to him. These glasses kind of have a way of uh, viewing things which might not be seen uh, prior to this. So, let's try this again. I don't think we'll have to chant. I think what we have to do is just wait and see if we hear anything. Um, okay, let's stand up. And let's hear... Oh, let's uh, hear what we can hear and see what we can see. Here we go. Oh, it's, it's not working, is it, Guida? 
I know, man. Another ritual failed. Another ritual failed. Okay, well, I think we're going to wrap it up. To <gasps> oh, my God, dude. The lights have gone out. Uh, dude, I don't suppose you're making that snapping noise, are you? That's not you hitting a ruler against your own hand, is it? Oh, God, you're right. You don't have any hands. Well, who's making that noise? <gasps> dude, Baldi's here. Baldi's here. He's getting closer. Oh, Guido, I don't like this. Put the lights back on. Put the lights back on. Ah! Oh, God. Oh, right. Ugh. Guido, I think... Oh, I, I think it was all a dream. I think... Yeah, look, the ritual is gone. So, Baldi, we actually managed to summon Baldi, but it turned out just to be a dream. Oh, well, I guess we're back here in the... Uh... In the regular bendy hands, oh not bendy hands, not baldy hands, not bendy hands, the baby hands dimension. And I guess Thanos is still out there, so we'll have to fight him in the next adventure. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode of Checkpoint, please let us know if you like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you've got any more ideas on how to summon baldy again. I can't believe we actually managed to summon him. It just, it's a shame it turned out to be a dream. Alright guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. See ya!